Plants, we need them every day and they're absolutely important for our survival. And then they are important for the ecology of the planet as a whole. So I'm, I'm really surprised all the time that, that we don't invest more into research on plants. Thanks to a considerable European grant, Nico Geldner and his team study the endoderm of plants. This cell layer belongs to the roots of plants. It acts as an active filter which protects the plant from toxic elements found in the soil while still allowing the necessary nutrients for its survival to go through. But we have no idea about the genes that are actually building this cell layer. And so this is what we set out to do and we actually were very successful at, at identify uh, a good number of genes that are involved in order to, to build this intricate uh, cell layer. Better understanding roots will help improve them, which is beneficial towards a sustainable agriculture. And maybe we can improve roots in the way that it, they can uh, work with less water, which is very important. And so I, I really think I can contribute with my research to a much better understanding of the fundamental aspects of root function. That can lead to really do uh, plants that need less fertilizer, less water, less pesticide, and that's pretty much our dream. A dream that has come true thanks to a long-term European funding. It's a lot of money for, for uh, five years, which is uh, unusual. Most grants are given for two or three years. Now, five years allows to, to follow up a different kind of project, which is more risky, which needs more investment of time. The European community has introduced a competitive system to shortlist research projects, thus promoting scientific excellence. We are invited to Brussels and we can present our work in front of a panel of excellent scientists. So it has become a kind of sign of excellence. If you have this, this grant, people think, okay, you probably do some, some really competitive research that, that, is, that is interesting. So uh, it has definitely increased the, the visibility. The backing from Brussels also helped Nico Geldner create new researcher positions within his team. When it comes to the administration of the money, I have felt during the first years a real uh, will from the, from the part of the ERC to, to improve this administrative uh, load and to make it easier for us. <laughs>